from Birmingham. Once again, we have a contenders versus gladiators battle on our hand in this clash of strength and endurance. And they're going to be trying to battle their way through to get through to the quarterfinals and maybe even a chance to get through to the grand finals, where they're going to be sharing prize monies of £14,000. Whoa! Big money. As if that wasn't enough, we'll also fly our contenders directly to California to take part in a battle against the American gladiators before, of course, they relax on a wonderful holiday of a lifetime on the Caribbean island of Barbados. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, let's have a look at who stands the chance of winning these wonderful prizes. First of all, our female contenders. The first one is Mandy Gorniski. And Paula Bisley. Welcome. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do and where you're from. I'm originally from South Wales. I live in Somerset now. I work for Taunton Dean Leisure at Taunton Swimming Pool. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them seem to be here. Now, that's right. Pardon me, but Gorniski is not exactly a Welsh name, No, that's is it? right. My father was Polish. Oh, right. So I've inherited that one. Oh. Now, aside from working as a recreation manager, I understand you have a true passion for football. That's How did right, that come yes. about? Um, <laughs> Some of the football team as well. Um, I saw an advert in the newspaper about five years ago when I was living in Aldershot and it said play women's soccer. Oh. So I went along, trained, and I play for Bristol Ladies now in the Southern National League. And I've got a Welsh trial so shortly, so I'm hoping to do well. Now you've taken the sport actually one stage further, haven't you? That's right. I hold a prelim coaching badge as well. Oh, and I also nice. coach soccer. I bet there wasn't many women on the course. I was the only woman on the course, actually. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Well, we'll have to change that. You're certainly not going to be the only woman on the show tonight. You've got to face our female gladiators. So all the very best of luck. Mandy Gorniski. Thank you. OK, Paula, tell us about yourself. Um, I'm a gym instructor. I work for two different gyms. I work for Body Fit and Palace Fitness Studio. I've got a daughter who's 10, and she's called Jessica. And I think she's over there somewhere. So, Jess, hi. <laughs> Got a lot of supporters here, have you? Yes, yes. Where are they? Come on, give them a cheer. Come on, give them a cheer. <laughs> yeah, they're here, they're here. Now then, Paula, got any hobbies? What do you do in your spare time if you have any spare time? Well, I keep Staffordshire Bull Terriers. Staffordshire Bull Terriers? Are they those little vicious dogs we keep reading about in the papers? They're not vicious at all. They're really nice. If there's anything that's vicious, it's me. I'm vicious. Well, well, we certainly have time to prove that. Off you go. Put your safety equipment on and get ready for the next event. Off you go. Paula Bisley! Come on! So, while the girls are getting ready, let's meet the fellas. They are Stephen Robinson. And Roddy McKay. Where are you from and what do you do? Well... I'm from Northern Ireland, in a wee small town called Newton Ards, just in the Ards Peninsula. Right. And I'm a firefighter in the Northern Ireland Fire Brigade. Oh, how wonderful. And how fit do you have to be to be a firefighter? Well, they make sure that when you do your basic training that you're very fit, and after that it's really up to yourself to, to keep up the standard. And how do you do that? How do you keep fit outside of work? Well, I do a, a fair amount of weight training. I do a little bit of running and cycling, and I also spend as much time as I can windsurfing when the, the weather's right. I was going to say, windsurfing in Northern Ireland, any good? Yeah, well, we have a, I live in a really good location on the Arch Peninsula. There's water all around me. And uh, providing the winds are up, I'm out there. It's great. Well, I'm not sure if we can provide you with any water today, but there'll be plenty of events for you to get your teeth stuck into. So off you go, Stephen Robinson. Thank you very much. Now, Roddy, you're a bit of a busy man. Tell us about yourself. OK, I'm self-employed. I coach gymnastics and also take children abroad to Switzerland to experience the Alps and teach them to ski and snowboard. So tell us about snowboarding, because I don't think anybody here knows what snowboarding is. What's snowboarding? OK, snowboarding's very much like surfing on water and skateboarding put together. Uh, you're on a, on a surfboard, you're clamped on, and down the piste you go. Enjoyable? Excellent fun. Excellent. Great stuff. Off you go. Okay. Off you go, Roddy. Let's hear it for Roddy. should be ready for our very first event tonight so let's hand you over to John Sachs to fill us in on it. Thanks Ulrika. 
Powerball is our first event, not a game for the faint-hearted. So Mandy and Paula are ready, and they're going to be facing our gladiators, Zodiac, Scorpio, and Falco. <laughs> this event. Oh, Mandy taken out by Zodiac and Scorpio. And look at that, dumps the Gladiator, puts in two points. Oh, Paula floors Zodiac, but she saw stars. Two points there, Mandy picks up two points. This is a fast one today. The girl's really moving in on the points. Look at that, double team there, and two points from Mandy. Whoa, why not throw the ball at the Gladiator? Zodiac cops a double whammy from Paula. Three pointer centre basket. Mandy, two more. Oh, and two more. She's quietly piling on the points there. Falcon. Good tackle, but in it goes. Two points. Around the rim, that one. Oh, slams the ball in the face and then in the basket. Superb. What a powerhouse this baller is. Mandy taken out of the play there. It's all over. Time up. Well, Mandy, tell us, that served as a nice little warm-up for you, didn't it, eh? Did you have any plans about this event? I just aimed to stay out of the way as much as possible and okay. not get hurt. <laughs> OK. Paula, you scored 11 points! Well, I hope I gave everybody lots of action, because that's what I'm here for. And it was brilliant. I really enjoyed that. Well done, Paula. Well done. Mandy's on 10, pull her head on 11 after one event. Well, we are colour coordinated on gladiators. Steve in red with the red balls, Roddy in blue with the blue balls. And the boys are ready and they're going to be facing Warrior, Trojan and Hunter. Which must be like facing a herd of stampeding rhinos, 60 stones of hostile traffic. Stephen, three of our biggest gladiators. Are they as tough as they look? Oh, John, they're an awful lot tougher. This is something that I haven't been looking forward to all week. I'm much so small compared to those guys, and they hit really, really hard, really hard. Two of them on you at 110, you must have 35, 40 stone on top of you. It hurts. Well, Stephen, you scored two points. I think I scored four, John. Oh, John, I, I scored off the first ball. I got another one into the basket, one of the gladiators, when he took me out. 
he kicked the ball, he kicked the, the pot over and the ball fell out, but there definitely had two scores there, John. Two scores on the outside. Well, we'd like to be fair here. If you've got any problems, we're calling John Anderson. John, can you come in, John? What are we going to do about it? I think it would only be right and proper that we should have a video replay and determine from that whether or not a point should be scored. Great, there it is. A video replay. OK, Stephen. Well done, Roddy. Thank you. How did you find that? Well, these guys are big guys. I'm giving away nearly 10 stone on some of them. It's like hitting a brick wall, but just like Newcastle on a Friday night. And the guys, they deserve a round of applause. They played really fair, the Gladiators. Wow. Well, even after that hard-fought heavyweight contest, Roddy sums up the spirit of Gladiators there. Fair play. Well, before the ref sees the video replay, the scores are Roddy 4, Stephen 2. Next event, Danger Zone. Contenders require fast footwork, keen eyesight and a deadly aim. First up in the Danger Zone is Mandy and she's facing Jet. <laughs> A former member of the National Gymnastics Squad and Danger Zone, one of her favourite events. Contender ready! Gladiator ready! Three, two, one! And Mandy on the crossbow, aiming to hit the target above the Gladiator's head where she'll score ten points. She has to release each weapon within 10 seconds, otherwise the station will self-destruct just like that. Contenders still pick up a point for every weapon fired, but this season they'll only score five for punching the lower target. Oh, those Gladiator projectiles travelling at over 80 miles an hour. Oh, close. Just struggling with the weapon there. Oh, Jets picked her off. It must be a direct hit, it cannot be a ricochet. One down, one to go. Mandy's off, picks up four points for four weapons fired. Next into the danger zone, Paula, kitted out in her body armour and peps, personal eye protectors. She has a very unusual training diet, which she told us about earlier this week. All the contenders uh, think it's a bit of a joke, really, because after the end of training, they're all dying to go back and have their vitamins and sleep and things, and I'm the only one that wants to dying for a cigarette and I'm dying for a couple of pints of bitter. Um, it's a bit eerie, really, that I'm the only one at the bar at the end of the night, but I have to have my bitter and my fags. <laughs> but I'm fit still. I must be fit if I can do that and train. Three, two, one. Well, the commentator's got his beer and fags, and here comes Paula on the crossbow. Oh, it's not a very good shot, but picks up a point. Closer. She's onto the rocket launcher, the biggest of our weapons. Oh, a little low that time. Now the last weapon, the mortar. And that's close. Now she's got to dive through that safety tunnel to hit the lower target. For five points, lights it up, yes! Good result. Paula's team are well happy with that. There's Paula's daughter Jessica, very happy with Mum in the lead at the moment. So Mandy's on 14, while Paula has 16 after two events. So it's a very close fight indeed, and we'll move straight into the men's danger zone. And standing next to me, first up on the men's danger zone, is Stephen. And the reason we're talking to you, Stephen, is we have some very good news. We've looked back at the replay, and you did indeed score four points for Powerball. Thank you very much, yeah. I knew I'd got that second score, and it was knocked out. That's great news. Great news. Thank you. Well, hopefully that should cheer you up, but maybe this won't cheer you up, because in Danger Zone, you're facing Cobra. Cobra, who's picked up a black belt in Taekwondo since we last saw him. Contender ready! Gladiator ready! Three, two, one! Well, being 
Senior Fireman Stephen used to pressure. Oh, it didn't fire, but he gets a point. Bazooka. Oh, right over the top. It's the rocket launcher. Oh, look at him, Rattle that's green. Cobra honing in on his man now. As Stephen makes it across to the mortar. Final weapon. And that goes over the top as well. Now it's for the safety tunnel, and he picked him off! That's no good sliding under there, he's picked him off. Cobra's firepower taking out the fireman, but he picks up four points. And even in the slow motion, we can only just about see the speed of these projectiles. Next up, it's Roddy. Three, two, one. Now straight to the crossbow. The furthest away, the most difficult weapon. Oh, he's picked it off. Look at that. Eat your heart out, William Tell. Well, Roddy was an international gymnast and proving it. And Cobra must think it's Guy Fawkes night. Congratulations, Roddy. Well done. I was really worried about that one. In the warm-up, I got down to the front here and took a ball at 80 miles an hour in my head from the front. So I'm glad I got through that. Cheers, Cobra. Well, Stephen, with his extra two points from Powerball, plus the four from Danger Zone, moves on to eight while Roddy's on 14. And now things are really looking up. Or are they? This is the wall. 36 feet of vertical. Our contenders have only 60 seconds in which to climb it. If they reach the top, they pick up 10 points. If, when the whistle is blown at the end of the 60 seconds, they're still on the face of the wall, they pick up a valuable five. And to make things even more difficult, they'll be hotly pursued by two of our female gladiators. Paula's going to be chased by Nightshade! And Mandy's going to be pursued by Scorpio. So it's over to John Anderson. Three, two, one. Well, they're up and climbing. Mandy in the pink making great progress, and there's Paula. And here come our gladiators. Mandy well ahead of Scorpio. And she's going to do it. She's going to get over that wall for 10 points. Absolutely wonderful climb, and Mandy's boyfriend Billy well pleased with that. Not much time left on the clock. Nightshade's on Paula's case. Will she grab the ankle? Oh, she's missed it. Paula's going to do it for 10 points, and it's going to be close. She's made it for 10 points. Both girls picking up maximum points on the wall. Mandy's on 24, while Paula's on 26 after three events. Cross to the boys' wall, where Fireman Stephen should have a good head for heights. Let's find out a little more about him. My job itself is something that I've always wanted to do in the fire brigade since I was a child. And it's very good because it does offer you a great career opportunity if you're prepared to study and do your exams and work hard. You can get on in life in the fire brigade. <laughs> Although at this stage of my career, I'm obviously spending more time trying to learn the basics, the fundamentals, at the pointy end of the business, going in there, fighting fires. There's an awful lot to be learned. And Stephen is standing poised at the foot of the wall, but so is Saracen. Hello, everyone. On Stephen's other side is Roddy, and he's going to be pursued by Shadow. Boys are off, trying to put as much distance between them and the gladiators, and they have to negotiate an extra overhang on the men's wall. Here come the gladiators. Stephen the fireman being pursued by Saracen, who in the off-season is also a firefighter in the London Brigade. And look at Ronnie, one of the fastest climbs I've ever seen, 10 points. And what's that on Stephen's backside? Oh, bye-bye, well, that's cheeky. Ten points, though. And Archie's family pleased about that. Roddy, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, John, that was excellent. A uh, little bit of a scrabble at the top there, 
but I think we've got an advantage here being a lot smaller and lighter than the Gladiators, so hard lines to them, but well done. 22 seconds. Well, there's not many people that escape the shadow, and believe me, he was fast. I didn't even get a chance to get excited. All credit to the mayor. Right. To the headmaster's office for you. And for you, young man, 29 seconds. You didn't get a look in. Uh, he was quick, he was quick, but um, hopefully the rest of the gladiators will catch him later. All I get from you is excuses and no action. I've got no excuses. I mean, I was good and he was better. I mean, that's all I can say. Very nicely put. Cyrus in the shadow. Yeah, man. Steve. Yes, well done, Steve. Now, Steve, I think you've got something to show us all, haven't you? Yeah, something well, on the back of you, come well, on. a message for Saracen there on the way up the wall, and I thought he'd, something he'd like to look at on the way up. <laughs> a little message for Saracen. <laughs> so, Stephen's on 18, and Roddy's on 24 after three events. So, there's still all to play for. Three more events after the break, including Swingshot, of course, which is first up. So, join us here on Gladiators. <laughs> Welcome back after the break. Next event, swing shot. Over to John Anderson. Tenders ready! Gladiators ready! Three, two, one! Swing out, sisters. Remember, one point for grabbing the yellow which they both do in the first swing. It's two for a blue and three for a high-flying red. And don't forget to pop it in the basket or it don't count. Paula gets a free swing, has ambitions for a blue, but settles for a yellow, as does Mandy. Now Paula misses out, but Mandy swinging up for another yellow. She gets it. And look at that. Panther having problems getting up to the top of her platform. 15 feet up they are. Paula, and she's got two blues, one in the hand, one in the mouth. Only one of those will count for two points. We'll work that one out later. Here she comes for another swing. Oh, what went on there? Here comes Mandy. Oh, a great defensive block by Zodiac, our British pole vaulting champion. And Paula reaches for a blue, but Kosaki picks up points from the pole, perplexing Panther. How long will she let this go on for? And how long can I keep up this alliteration? There's the whistle. I think I'll call it a day now. Well, in the replay, we can see that Paula strips two blue balls from the pole. The rules of swing shot clearly say one ball per swing. So the first ball gives Paula two points, the second ball hasn't counted. So the accumulative scores are Mandy's on 27, Paula bounces to 32 after four events. As Ronnie prepares for swing shot, let's find out why he came on Gladiators. I feel that Gladiators is a medium to put forward health and fitness to children. Um, obviously, that's one of the reasons why I entered, was because children see me every day talking about health and fitness and talking about how fit and healthy I am, and that it's a good way of actually putting it across to them for them to see me doing something that's related to health and fitness as well. And the, the gladiator training has been surprisingly hard. It's uh, been very, very well organised and far, far more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But as I say, my gymnastic background and training has lent itself very nicely to what we're going to do. And hopefully you'll see on the television. Contenders ready! Gladiator! are swinging up against Trojan and Cobra. And look at that, a red followed by another one. I've never seen anything like it before. What a start, three points each. Only ever achieved that once before by a single contender. Oh, follows it with a blue and so does he. Incredible, Stephen and Roddy have five points each already. Where's the Gladiators' defense? Now, oh, Stephen up for a blue there. And again, foils the gladiator. Remember, it don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. Blue's raining down on us today. Great scoring by the guys. Could be an all-time record. Oh, takes a yellow. And 
Trojan and Cobra not demonstrating the best gladiator defense today. But these guys are just having a free fall up there. Look at that, what a great dog fight that was. Another three points. Roddy setting a new swing shot record. There's the whistle. Roddy with a handful of yellow. It won't count. And he knows it. Appreciation by the crowd there, especially Stephen's little boy. Well, let's enjoy the replay and that quite remarkable swing by both contenders as they both attain new heights in this event. So Stephen swings on to 27, Roddy leaps to 35 after four events. Next up, Hang Tough. First to go is Mandy, our recreations manager. Let's find out a little more about her job. We actually have um, a dry centre. Um, then a, a dual purpose centre which also has a ski slope. We have two swimming pools and a golf course. And they, they put in a new job, a new position for someone who would float as a manager. So I was known as a floater and I'd work in all the different centres, which was absolutely great because I ended up coaching football, which I thoroughly enjoy. I was taking 50 plus sessions, I was taking circuit training with the guys, I was doing gym intros, taking lifeguards for training. So my job is absolutely wonderful. I couldn't want for a more varied job. It's not boring and I can't wait to get up in the morning and go to work. It's great, absolutely love it. Ready for Hang Tough is Mandy. <laughs> but trying to catch her will be lightning. The proof of a champion gymnast is gold medals, and Lightning has 23. Three, two, one! So we're off on our aerial chess game. 50 feet across to the Gladiators platform. 10 points if Mandy makes it there, five for hanging tough in the scoring zone. Oh, but that's irrelevant now as Lightning strikes. And Mandy eats Matt. Another Billy the boyfriend one, not happy with that. In the replay, it's a perfect another execution one, by Lightning. Bust. Perfect technique, he uses the body scissors for a textbook takedown. And facing Lightning again is Paula. So Paula launches herself off to face lightning in this aerial battle of agility 12 feet above the arena floor. And lightning tells me the secret of success in this event is to relax the shoulders, relax the body and go with the natural rhythm of the swing. And you can see by those graceful movements it's almost poetic. And Paula's in the scoring zone. And will she hang there for five or try to go for the Gladiator's platform? The well, choice may not be hers. And Paul is going to have to make a move. And Lightning certainly has. She hones in. There's the body scissors. It's all going to be over. Oh, no! She slipped. A different end to the story. The scissors were blunt. And Paul is showing confidence to shake off that attack. Not attempting to go to the platform, knowing she'll pick up five points more than Mandy. Well done, Paula. Oh, you've been biz. Well, she's done the biz all right. If we look at that replay, Lightning locks on but doesn't get a proper grip. And Paula delighted with that result. So Mandy's on 27. Paula moves into the lead on 37 after five events. On to the men's. Stevens the first up. The Wolfman's out. Oh, Wolf the Wimp. Well, everyone's two, a critic. One. So Stephen's small and agile, so he should be able to make it across. And this is the first time Wolf has been in this event. And he seems to have got the rhythm straight away. Wolf a little high with the feet there, mate. Although he doesn't play by Queensby. Oh, scissors straight in! What a great debut! Can he take 
Yes, he does. Eat Matt. Superb debut. Could Wolf become the new Lord of the Rings? And the critics have changed their tune. Next up, it's Roddy. Look at that. Ready! There's a wolf cub. Well, I only had to wear a woggle when I joined them. Three, two, one. Ronnie swings out. He should be good at this, having been an international gymnast. Swing. He's found himself one ringed and one handed. And Wolf's got to get back to him. Look at that distance. Roddy picks up a second ring. He's in the scoring zone. He's got his momentum back. And Wolf couldn't believe what he saw. No swing, no ring, and no game plan for Wolf. Roddy has a free ride to Wolf's platform. Two reds on swing shot and a home run on Hang Tough. Well, I've never seen him strung up for a long time, but he was well and truly at a loose end. I tell you what, though, I've heard a lot about Wolf in respect of him being the bad guy of the group. All the other guys have been superb. I don't think Wolf is like that. Really? I think, you know, I think we should shake hands oh. and say... Oh. 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 oh, well, he deserved that from Ulrika, but it probably hurt her more than it hurt him. Whoa. Too good to be true, that wolf shaking hands with anybody. Oh, Last time I shook hands with him, I had to count my fingers Whoa. afterwards. Whoa. Well, after that breathtaking display, let's take a look at the boys' scores. Stevens on 27, Roddy's pulling away on 45 after five events. Next up, it's one of our new events, Suspension Bridge. On one platform, we have Mandy! <laughs> and across the Suspension Bridge, we have one of our new gladiators, martial art expert, Nightshade! <laughs> yes, John, a black belt in Taekwondo since the age of 18. And looking at Mandy's stats, she's giving away a stone in weight and seven inches in height. Three, two, one. And it's not just about weight and height, it's about balance as well. But uh, weight and height does help. Well, Mandy, what happens with football is balance. Um, I don't usually stand on a bridge when I kick a ball. <laughs> it's a hard one, isn't it? It's very, very difficult. OK, Mandy, thanks very much. Well done. Paula, 5'9", giving away half a stone and three inches. Let's see if Paula can make a little more of contest of this. Three, Where are they getting all those cards two, from? They've got more cards than one. I got for Christmas. Clever Paula keeping close to Nightshade to prevent getting any leverage into those shots. Nightshade backing off a little, gets more power. Oh, she's successful! <laughs> Paula's family not happy, and nor is Paula. She's got the right hump. So in the girls' competition, Mandy stays on 27, Paula remains on 37 after six events. And up on the platform, is a very brave young man. It's Stephen! And he's going to try and take on the might of the warrior! And the biggest mismatch in gladiator history. A real David and Goliath confrontation. Stephen giving away 10 inches in height and nearly 8 stone in weight. Now, whatever you do, Three, don't blink. Two, Stephen, very quick exit. No good. 
No good at all, John. I had a game plan, just didn't work. Such a big guy. I hit him on the legs, thought I could clean the legs from under him, but with legs that size, they're just not going to move. He's one hell of a big guy, isn't he? Yeah, really enormous guy. Well done, Stephen. Let's hear it for Stephen. <laughs> and next up is Roddy. Only giving away six inches, but also giving away nine stones. Again, heavily outgunned by this giant gladiator. Contender, ready! Gladiator, ready! Three, two, one! And Warrior doesn't want to waste any time. Oh, look at that! What a hook! Almost as good as the one Lennox Lewis stopped Frank Bruno with in the early hours of this morning. It took Lennox seven rounds. It took Warrior four seconds. After six events, Steve's on 27, Roddy 45. Nobody will ever take me off that bridge. Bring Hulk Hogan on, anybody. They won't take me. Number one, the biggest and the strongest. Who's going to argue with that? Not me. So join us after the break when you can see the last event, the Eliminator on the Gladiator. Welcome back to the National Indoor Arena. And well, the Eliminator always promises to be exciting and tonight is no exception. Time for Eliminator. And here's a contender's eye view of the course. Uh, Here's a new element this year, the balance beam, which takes you to the foot of the travelator. It's up there if you've got the energy. Grab that rope through the paper burst and into the quarterfinals. So Paula has a 10-point lead, which converts to a five-second head start. Well, you've had a lot of support throughout all the events tonight. I've had some brilliant... There's been brilliant people here. I've had a brilliant time. Whatever happens tonight, I can say I've had one of the best times ever. It's been brilliant, really. Well done. Thanks very much, Paula. Now, Mandy, you're a footballer. Now, this event is all about stamina and endurance. You should have plenty of that. Yes, I, I actually like this event the best, so to finish off with this one is good for me. Any parts of it you're worried about? Just the rolling beam. I came off that quite undignified on the first day, so that's the only one that's let me down. OK, wish you all the best. Either way, we'll see you both over the other side. Off you go. Paula. You will go on my first whistle. Mandy, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. So Paula has a five second head start to make the best of these high and low hurdles. Here comes Mandy, and she's got to get going now. Paula making a meal out of that rope, and look at that, Mandy's made up the five seconds already. And there's little Jessica. Come on, Mark. She's at the top now. And it's the overhead ladder. Really does take it out of the upper body strength. Mandy seems to be neck and neck. And Jessica's on her feet. Come on, Mum. And they're going to touch down together as they go across the rolling beams. And on to the most demanding, the cargo net. going to get to the top first. There's Billy the boyfriend. Come on, Mandy. Whoever gets to the top first goes to the furthest zip line. And it looks like, yes, it's going to be Mandy. She goes across. And they're going to come down together. Synchronize, splash down. I think Jessica can stand this onto the balance beam. You've got to be careful on this. Good one from Mandy as she meets the travelator. Paulie, a little bit uncertain on it. Mandy steams up the travelator. She's got to make it in one. Yes, she's popping up there. Grabs the rope through the paper burst and plays in the quarterfinals. Tremendous. And Billy, the boyfriend, absolutely delighted. And here comes Paula, a great contender. performance the five seconds absolutely made no difference to you at all no I like that event that's my best one what was going <laughs> through your mind when you were chasing her just to catch her initially and then once I caught her not to let her catch me again 
Anyone you'd like to thank for all your help and the support you've had here this evening? Yeah, Bristol Ladies Football Team. And Bill as well, my boyfriend. Oh, that's lovely. Well done, Mandy. <laughs> We had a head start, Paula. Unlucky. Never mind. I don't know what to say, really. I just took it too long on that beam. Psychologically, I didn't like that beam. I went too slow. But I want to say, my family have been brilliant. And I just say, I love you all. Thank you very much for supporting me. Thanks very much, Paula. Well done. And next up is the men's event. And we'll hand you back over to John Sachs with the men's stats. Thanks, Fash. Roddy leads by 18 points, giving him a nine-second head start. Stephen, what's going through your mind right at this precise moment? Well, I'm starting to get very nervous again, Ulrika. It's, the adrenaline's starting to pump, and it's just a big climax. Roddy has a great big lead on me. I'm hoping to pull it back, but they'll be in there giving 100%. Well, we know it's anybody's game, Roddy. You're going to take advantage of your nine-second lead. Right, I had a good day today. Uh, things went really well for me. But as you say, anything can happen here. You can make one mistake and it's all gone. So, best of luck to Steve. Let's do the business. I'd like to echo that. Best of luck to the two of you. See you at the end. Roddy, good sportsmanship throughout. And Stephen tells us the secret of his high-carbohydrate diet. You'll find me eating chips quite regularly. You'll probably also find me eating McDonald's and pizzas also very regularly. Uh, I'm not a real stickler. I train reasonably hard in the gym, cycling on and off, sometimes harder than others, and do a wee bit of jogging, but the same. No, it's, it's not the be-all and end-all. It's something to keep me in good shape and hopefully extend my lifespan a wee bit and keep me fit and healthy into my old age. I'm not going to commit myself to a really serious regime and forget everything else. Roddy, you will go on my first whistle. Steve, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. And there goes Roddy, who doesn't need this nine-second head start. An international gymnast must be a high favorite for this one. And plenty of support. Here comes Fireman Stephen making short work of those high and low hurdles, and already Roddy pumping away on that handbike. Remember, the men use the handbike, and the girls use the overhead ladder. Short work of that, but here comes Stephen. Roddy across the rolling beams, onto the cargo net. And if we look back down the course, there's Stephen joining him, and make it up some. Lovely, easy motion of Roddy. Stephen struggling a little bit. But here comes Roddy down the zip line. Great landing. Now, can he keep control? You have to mentally slow yourself down on this balance beam. Yes, he's down. But quickly followed by Stephen. And Roddy steams up the travelator. This is going to be fast. Jim Roddy and a plate into the quarterfinals. This man is going to be a hard man to beat there. And look at Stephen. Oh, he slipped on the travelator. Every contender has to really dig deep. Come on, Dad. Load those lungs up and a steam up the travelator. He's got to make it this time. Yes, he does. A great contender through the paper burst. And look at that. They've had a wonderful time together. Great contenders. Well, Roddy, outstanding achievement. Congratulations. Thanks ever so much, John. Real hard work there. On the net, he only made a small mistake there, but I got there in the end. Steve, brilliant. Excellent, what a day. Was there ever a time when you thought he was catching you up? Yeah, on the net there, I got worried, I must admit. Very worried there. But I got there. Well done. Roddy, congratulations. I'd like to say a few thank yous. I've done a lot of training preparing for this both at Port Regis School in the South and the Royal Grammar School at Newcastle, and they've all supported me really well. 
Thanks ever so much, and we'll see you all soon. A winner, Rodney! Well done, Rodney! Stephen, at the end of all that, I wasn't quite sure if it was the nine-second head start or if it was the nerves. Oh, I think I, they both played a part in it, Ulrika. I was trying so hard, I think I just burnt myself out in the first half of the course, and I uh, just couldn't pull it back. But, uh, no sour grapes. Roddy's looked good all week. His training's been excellent. Uh, I knew he was going to be very hard to beat, and he proved to be the better man today. And I, congr I would like to congratulate him for that. Well done. It has been great having you on the show. Well done, Stephen. Can I just say, Riga, just, I would like to thank all my family and friends that made such a very long journey from Newton Arge in Belfast, back in Northern Ireland, come all this way to support me. And they've been fantastic and tremendous. And I've had a great experience. Something I'll never forget. Thank, Thank you, you, Stephen. Thank you. Well, our commiserations to the losers, but congratulations to our winners. And if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to watch next week when you can see four more contenders face the ultimate challenge of the Gladiators! One doesn't mean downing the contents of the tankard, by the way. Bullseye is next here on Challenge. And don't forget, Gladiators are back next Sunday and every Sunday at 7. Need to challenge. attempt to recreate any of the events you have seen on gladiators both contenders and gladiators have been trained for this competition and safety equipment is mandatory the gladi